in Kauai, and I thank you so much for this opportunity to be here with um, amazing and powerful people. Um, as my dad had shared, I had a different um, life growing up. Um, I was raised in a home with my mom and dad who um, showed unconditional love. Um, they provided everything. They were very supportive. They were engaged in everything I did. And it was an amazing childhood. Uh, at the age of 17, I did lose both of my parents in a nine month span. And at that time, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, I was young. I had a 13 year old brother at the time who was living with me and my road shattered. And at that time, I was blessed enough to reconnect with my family. Um, my dad was always a huge part of my life, my dad, Alan, and I knew him growing up. And it's something that my adopted parents wanted was for me to have a relationship with my biological parents. So of course I knew who he was, um, what he did, but that was it at that time. Um, we didn't have a relationship. Um, it was very, it was like strangers. We would be in the same place all the time, but I never knew how to connect with him. It was hard because as a daughter, you just want to know your, your biological parent. There was a lot of questions going on. The, why was I adopted? How did this happen? Um, but a lot of those things were not brought up. Um, growing up and after my parents had passed away, we were getting together quite often. And every time that I wanted to build a relationship, there was still a wall there. Um, neither of us knew how to connect. Neither of us knew how to communicate with one another. And it was because of my amazing and loving mom, Mari, who continuously, regardless of what our relationship was, she continued to pour out love. She continued to reach out um, every birthday, every holiday, every big event in my life. She was always there, especially when I started my own family um, of my own. And she was always there in the hospital with me, um, coming home with me to make sure that everything was okay. So she was really that bridge between the two of us as we were getting to know each other, getting to understand um, how to make this work. And it wasn't until later, you know, I thought I, I thought that I thought I had a perfect childhood, a good life. And I didn't realize until I started having my own family that I was carrying a lot of the hurt habits and hang up. And I didn't know what it was, but this generational curse was being passed on to my kids. Even though I was raised in a, um, a great home, I was carrying some things into our family home. And it wasn't until I think Healing Hearts that I realized um, the orphan spirit that I was carrying, the spirit of abandonment. And going through those weeks of healing heart was tough for me because I thought that everything was okay. You know, I thought everything was put aside. I was done. I was this whole new person. And going through those questionnaires and that time just opened up a lot of things that I was really just hiding deep down within the surface. And it wasn't until then that as a father and daughter, we were able to talk um, about the things that had happened, the things that I was feeling. Um, and I was able to tell dad all the hurts um, that I was experiencing at that time um, and throughout my childhood. But that was the start of just an a, amazing journey that I had nowhere where this was gonna go. I was like, this was either gonna hurt us because there was so much 
anger and hurt and frustration, um, or this was going to be something that God was going to use for God. And as we know, God does turn every challenge, every obstacle into something that's better. Um, so that was the beginning of our journey together after many years. Um, it was after Healing Hearts that we were able to share our story for the first time to a group in our congregation um, who knew us but never knew the history prior. You know, everyone thought, wow, these, you know, Pastor Allen and her daughter, they have this great relationship, but they didn't know the turmoil that was happening at that time. And I apologize, I'm going, I have a cold <laughs> of all times, so I apologize. Um, but from there, you know, dad started um, responding differently in our relationship. Um, it wasn't just about, a lot of our conversations were about church, which was really hard. I was like, oh, here we go again, another conversation about church. Um, but he started to understand who I was. Um, God used him because he gained new to parenting tools that he was implementing. And we saw this different side of him. And I was like, oh, okay, this is different. You know, um, he was always asking questions, putting things back on me. Um, he was using things that I was just like, this is weird. What, what is this? And he started to share with us about Kylo and loving your kids on purpose. And as a kid, um, as a family um, and a congregation, we went through these tools together and that's where everything changed in our connection because we're learning how to connect with one another. We're learning how to create healthy boundaries. We're learning to take control of ourselves despite everything else that was going on in our household, in our family. And we have a dysfunctional family. I know you guys don't, but our family is very dysfunctional. And um, these tools that we were gaining, you know, learning how to love our kids despite everything else that they were doing, we began implementing it in our home. And it was hard. And my daughter has shared multiple testimonies that she started to see this different mom. Mom wasn't yelling anymore. Mom wasn't getting frustrated and blowing up at um, every time she did something wrong. And um, I started to build that connection with her because of what dad was doing with me. And now we have such an amazing relationship that um, as things are going, going on in her life, and she's a teenager, she's 15. So she's, of course, seeing everything that the world has to offer. She's encountering different things. She's made a few bad choices, of course, but we were able to come and sit together as a family we kept our love on, we created healthy, healthy boundaries, and we're in a much better place than we were. But this is just the beginning of learning how to break that generational curse, that generational cycle that has been going on for years and years in um, our family, just our family. We're the only dysfunctional family, that's why. But we are doing something that's different something that's powerful and because of this I get to take this into my workplace I get to take this out into the community curricular activities and just so much more um, it's a great ground um, great too so I cannot thank you guys enough um, Pastor Cal Pastor Francis because I know that you guys have a huge impact huge influence on who um, my dad is today and because of that our family is being transformed and because of his obedience he is now transforming not only our family but you know impacting Nana Cooley and I'm so grateful that as a daughter I get to do this with him and sometimes we're connecting with the same people not even knowing that or engage with the same agencies and influencing the same families. So